welcome to the first Monster Breakdown, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Puppy Family in Spiral Knights. Now, the Puppy Family is a family inside of the Construct Family, and we're going to be looking at all sorts of different things about the puppies. Now, first up, I'm going to be answering one of the most basic questions. What is a puppy in Spiral Knights? Many of us know puppies to be little cuties that walk around on four legs, but that's not the case in Spiral Knights. They are little robotic turrets that kind of look like a dog. And puppies belong to one of three attack classes that are either projectile, rocket, or spray based. Now puppies can be found in tiers 1, 2, and 3, but we're just going to be looking at the tier 3 version for this video. Now there are many different types of puppies, and the most basic is the standard gun puppy, then there's the sick puppy, the slush puppy, Sparky, the Red Rover, the Rocket Puppy, and the Love Puppy. And we're going to be taking a closer look at each one of these. First off, we're going to be looking at the Gun Puppy, and then we'll make our way through the rest of them. Now, we're just going to be taking a basic look at them, and then later on we'll talk about strategies and that kind of stuff. So, first up we're going to be taking a look at the Standard Gun Puppy, and as you can see he fires five orange projectiles. Now, each of those projectiles is a mix of normal and elemental damage. And you don't really have to worry about these guys unless you get a group of two, three, or even more. Then they start to become a problem. And next up is the Sick Puppy. And as you can see, the Sick Puppy's projectiles are identical to the Gun Puppy's, except that they're green. Now, these projectiles, if they hit you, they deal a mix of normal, elemental, and they can also inflict you with the poison status. Now we're on to the Slush Puppy. And as you can see, the Slush Puppy also is firing projectiles, but this time they're blue, they deal a split, normal, elemental, and they can freeze you if they hit you, which can become extremely annoying when other enemies are around. The most annoying gun puppy in my opinion, or one of the most annoying, is Sparky. And Sparky fires shock bullets that deal a mix of normal, elemental, and they can of course shock you, which is the worst status in Spiral Knights in my opinion. Now up till now I've only seen projectile based puppies, but that changes with the Red Rover. The Red Rover attacks by spraying flames that curve towards your character, and its flames deal elemental damage and they also have a chance of inflicting you with the fire status. Now next up is the Rocket Puppy, and as its name implies it fires rockets at your character. And the puppy's rockets deal split normal and elemental damage, plus they can also set your player on fire. And next up is a puppy that is different from any monster in Spiral Knights, and it is the Love Puppy. And the Love Puppy is so different because instead of damaging your character, it actually heals them. The Love Puppy fires off hearts, and if a heart hits your character, your character is healed a little bit. Now, Love Puppies are extremely rare, but they can spawn in any place that a turret could spawn. And the puppy also has a small chance of dropping assorted heart pendants or the extremely rare True Love Locket. Now you're probably wondering, what type of gear should I have equipped when I want to go up against gun puppies? And the best type of gear to have equipped is elemental defensive gear, like the Vogue set for example. Now when you're attacking puppies, you'll want to be using elemental weapons because the puppies are weak to elemental damage. And specifically, i found that guns are the best way to deal with puppies. So for example, any gun in the Alchemer line or the Polaris gun would be great for dealing with puppies. So now that we know what to wear, let's go on to strategies. Now, puppies aren't really that difficult of an enemy, but if you come across them in groups, they can really pose a threat. And I've found that one of the easiest ways to deal with puppies is by simply dodging their attacks. Like many monsters in Spiral Knights, their movement is predictable, and you can wait till they're done attacking and then just go right behind them. Now, the complete opposite of that is you can stand still and actually defeat these guys and they won't even get a shot off. And you can do that by staggering them. As you can see, he's about to open his mouth. I fire the Polaris shot, it explodes, and it staggers him. So in these past few seconds, he hasn't even been able to get one shot off. And it's a very effective strategy if there's many puppies. Another way to take care of them is by freezing them. And freezing puppies is quite a bit of fun. The only thing is, it's not really that practical. You'd probably be better off just finishing them off quickly. So as you can see, when he's frozen, he can't turn to attack me. And then right when he unfreezes, boop. Now, since Rocket Puppy seem to give players the most problem, I've got a whole little section dedicated to Rocket Puppy tips and tricks, how we can deal with them safely. Now, as we know, when a Rocket Puppy fires one of those rockets, it kind of homes around us in Tier 3. Now, if you just run in circles, you can usually avoid the rocket and it'll explode. Not really practical, but it works. Now, this next method is one that I learned in the past month. 
and it's that you can actually hit a rocket and explode it. As you can see there, I take no damage and I'm actually getting rid of the rocket by hitting it really quickly with my sword. And here's a closer version so you can see what's actually happening. And now we're going to be taking a look at a gun puppy that can either be the easiest puppy in Spiral Knights or the hardest. And I have seen one too many players in Spiral Knights die due to this puppy, so I know that many people already know this strategy, but this is for those that don't already know it. So if we rush into the puppy room, attract his attention, and then go up to this little corner up here, we can actually get him to fire rockets up here, and then he'll be locked in this position and he won't notice us when we go in. Now as you can see, I could run around this whole circle, and this puppy will not notice me. I could be attacking enemies or anything, and the puppy would just stay static. And it's usually a good idea to let people know not to come to the room when you're doing the puppy room, because they'll go in and end up attracting his missiles, and it could foul the whole thing up. So, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you learned something. See you in Spiral Nights.